Howdy. This is Ad Analysis, coming at you live from the Great Kingdom of, uh, Ad Land. Yeah, that was the best I could come up with, but that's beside the point. Today, I am enlisting in the, uh, Ad Land ranks to be one of this kingdom's most legendary soldiers to ever exist. There's just one problem, though. I've never used a sword, nor a shield, and I have no experience on the battlefield. Now, of course, a normal person would understand the situation and use his or her time to learn and practice, but I don't have time for that. The only reason I'm joining is because our princess was captured by bandits. And no, I'm not doing this for the princess's sake. What am I, a simp? I'm only doing this because the king offered a hefty, hefty reward of uh, 20, 20 bucks. Look, times are tough, okay? Anyway, back to the topic at hand, I was just informed by our general that if I don't want to put my time and effort into learning how to fight, I could always just look up how to be a better fighter on the internet. Which, if I'm being quite honest, is a brilliant idea, so I'm not quite sure why he and my comrades started laughing at me when I agreed. Uh, lo and behold, the first thing I found was a game called Guardian Tales. Supposedly, if I play this game, I'll learn everything I need to know to be that legendary fighter I dream of being. But why keep it all to myself, right? I thought I'd share this knowledge with all of you, which is why today, we're going to be taking a look at Guardian Tales and, of course, their ads. Before we begin though, let's go over today's AAA of the day. If you're unfamiliar with this, this is the part of the video where I ask you, the viewer, a question regarding a relevant topic, and in return, you're free to leave your answer in the comments down below. So for today's question, recently, as many of you may be aware, Sony released a massive showcase for their newest console, the PlayStation 5. Whether you're a fan of it or not a fan, there's no denying that their showcase was, in all sense of the matter, an amazing showcase. So in regards to the question, if you watched the showcase, what would you say was your personal highlight? Was it a certain game that caught your eye, or maybe a game you've been anticipating? Or was it maybe the price reveal? And hey, if you're more of an Xbox kind of guy, that's totally fine too. If you're more inclined towards Xbox, what about the showcase they had in July? Be sure to leave your answer in this format in the comments down below, and without further ado, let's get on with the video. Before we get into the first ad, just do keep in mind, yes, this ad is an entire minute long. For those of you who are familiar with the channel, I always play the ad afterwards while I talk, just without the audio, so if you'd rather skip this through, Here's the timestamp where I start talking about the ad. Anyway, with that being said, here's the first ad. Ladies and gentlemen, that is how you make an ad. First off, it goes without saying, there's no fake gameplay in sight, which already makes me happy. But on top of that, this ad was able to showcase its story, gameplay, characters, and not to mention music, in a way that feels so naturally blended together in a trailer-like format, albeit in an entire minute, which is the only thing I find not great about this ad. Though to be fair, it's technically 5 seconds if you want it to be. Now, I know what you're thinking. What? Ad analysis? Talking good about a mobile game? He must be sick again. I know, I know, but look. I know a good ad when I see one, and this one just hits all the credentials out of the park. Something I want to say is that 
There is most likely a reason this ad was made the way it was. You see, usually companies use fake or stolen gameplay for their ads because they're not confident in their own game, and are afraid showing their own game won't get them millions of downloads. This is a clear example of a company who is confident in their game, and this ad shows. The other thing I'd like to mention is that I like the little touch of credits in the ad. It's nice to see people being credited for their work in more places than just the credits. And not to mention, it gives a bit more of a trailer aspect to the overall ad, which is nice. Anyway, let's see the next ad. Now look, you guys know me, there's nothing I hate more than ads showcasing fake gameplay, as I mentioned just earlier. However, and please bear with me when I say this, I don't think this ad follows underneath that category. And before you say it, no, I'm not getting paid to say this. Uh, who am I kidding? This video is sponsored by- Where was I? Oh, oh, right, right. I don't really want to consider this to be a fake ad. I mean, don't get me wrong, this is literally fake gameplay down to its assets, but to me, there's a difference between an ad that uses fake gameplay to come off as another game, with an ad that uses fake gameplay to parody a game that bears a striking similarity to their own. What I mean by that is, okay, take the footage you're watching now. Most of you have probably realized right now that this is a carbon copy screen of the original Link's Awakening. Now, when you compare Link's Awakening to the gameplay of Guardian Tales, obviously they share a ton of similarities. It's clear that the company is aware of this and used it to their advantage by creating a mock parody of Link's Awakening. And it shows, I mean, come on, did any of you actually get fooled, considering he pulled out a gun and got beat to death by the thing in the corner? I totally get that, at the end of the day, yes, this ad is showing fake gameplay, but this is just an exception that I can't get mad at. Like I said, to me, it's a parody rather than fake, but regardless, the first ad shown was definitely a better representation. The only other thing I'd like to mention about this ad is that it's funny, plain and simple. It reminds me of like a Smosh skit back in 2013. Anyway, I personally have gotten a good impression off this game from these ads alone, so enough talk here. I say we get into the game, shall we? Alright, here we go. I gotta say, right off the bat, I think, honestly, the graphics look pretty... Did the game freeze? <laughs> what an honorable title. As G. Ma'am, please come here. Doesn't my tier 3 sub mean anything to you? Alright, I can already say I am in love with this game because it has manual combat. Ooh, baby. Oh, I think I know what I'm supposed to do with this. I, uh... Um... Uh... Alright, I got it. Well, uh, that thing kind of looks like it wants to kill us. Uh, uh, uh oh. Uh, no worries, no worries. I'll dodge the next one. I, I got this. I, uh, uh oh. I know that this is really just more for obstacles and not for killing enemies, but I mean, come on. It does damage. I gotta kill someone with it. Come on, come on, almost there. Almost, ooh, number one in the world, baby. Here's two things that I like about this game. Uh, one of them being it rewards you for exploration, giving you secret caves, chests, and even some uh, alternate scenarios where you can travel to different levels, which I think is really cool. And then the other thing is, uh, it also looks like the dialogue has some weight to it, which I like. It, depending on the choice I make for what I say to the people depends on what side I'm on, which is really neat. Alright, I think I've had about enough. Let's get on with the review, shall we? First off, the game itself is really fascinating. The style of gameplay the game has doesn't really sound like it'd work a whole lot with today's standards of free-to-play mobile games, but yet it works so well. 
The combat and mechanics in the game mixed with the mobile game market aspect make for a surprisingly enjoyable experience that I do hope paves the way for more mobile games to break away from bubble popping, card games, and general turn-based games. The music is really nice, and while the models themselves seemed pretty iffy, the animations and expressions the models contain with them absolutely clear my doubts. As for the ads, I think that the first one, while pretty long, was a perfect example of how to make an ad. Real and accurate gameplay, a fitting OST, credits here and there, a good representation on what to expect from the game, and on that note, ironic enough considering the duration of the ad, but it just gets straight to the point. The only thing I'd say the ad could have done better is again, they could have fit it probably into 30 or 45 seconds. I understand that some of you might have a problem with the other ad, but to me, I honestly liked it as well. As someone who knows full well what Link's Awakening is, that looked nothing more to me than an intentional parody rather than an inconfident piece of thievery. Overall, I'm going to have to give this an ad analysis score of 9 out of 10. I would highly recommend you check this game out if the ads caught your interest, for what it's worth, as I barely even scraped the surface as to what's in the game. Anyway, before I get into the haha -ha funny outro as per usual, I just wanted to say thank you all so much for 2,000 subscribers. It's only been a week since I've hit it, and I'm already about like 130 subs over it. I truly appreciate all the support you guys are throwing out, and so as such, I hope my videos continue to please. We're in this for the long run, baby. Oh, you were expecting the outro, right? Where I reveal that despite the game having nothing to do with combat training, I learned something valuable from it and am now ready to save the princess. Well. Too bad, you idiot! There was no joke. There is no princess. I was the princess the whole time.